The 2010.2 release of DXperience introduces a lookup editor control for both the WPF and Silverlight platforms. In this video, we'll take a look at a simple example of how to bind the lookup editor for Silverlight to data and apply some minor customizations. I'll start with a new Silverlight application project. From the toolbox, I'll drag and drop the Look Up Edit control onto the page. You can see that at first glance, it looks like a standard combo box. When bound to data, it'll display a pop-up grid control and allow you to select records based on the data provided by the grid. I'll switch over to Code View to show the sample list of data that's been created for this example. To bind the Look Up Editor control to this data, I'll have to set the item's source property to a new instance of product list. To be able to select records, I'll need to specify the display member, meaning the field that'll be displayed in the combo box upon selection, and the value member, which will provide the data of the column upon selecting the record. In this example, I'll set them to the product name and quantity fields, respectively. I switch to the designer to review some of the UI properties of the control. You can see that the Auto Populate Columns property is already true, so columns will be automatically generated based on the fields found in the data source. I'll scroll down and disable the Is Popup Auto Width property. This will allow the popup grid control to stretch wider than the fixed width of the combo box. As you'll see shortly, this is useful if you'd like to display all or most of the grids columns without having to use a scroll bar. And I'm done. Let's run the application to see the result. Here it is. I click to open the dropdown, and the lookup editor is displayed. The embedded grid control is bound and populated with the sample data. Note that by default, I can sort columns, filter data, and reorder columns. Upon clicking any records, the item is selected and the data is displayed within the combo box based on the field I set for the display member property earlier. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.